We are smack dab in the middle of a clean energy revolution. More and more people are driving electric vehicles which rely on lithium ion batteries, most of which contain cobalt. According to the Cobalt Institute, in 2022, 73% of the world's supply of cobalt was mined in Africa's copper belt a region between Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to the U.S. Bureau of Mines and the U.S. Geological Survey, cobalt production in that area increased about 600 percent between 1990 and 2021. The question, did that increase in production mean an increase in pollution? In Africa, there's barely yeah, regulation at the moment. Peter Nell Leveld wanted to find out. Leveld is director of the Atmospheric Chemistry Lab at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. She recently completed a study using satellite data to measure emissions from these cobalt and copper mines in Africa. And we also showed that the increase in this pollution relates to an increase in production. Much of the pollution caused by the heavy diesel machinery used in the mines. Leveld found the mining operations had significant impact on the air quality of nearby communities. So you clearly see that the high nitrogen dioxide values are on top of the mine. Pollution also spreads over the city, which is next to it. Air pollution is really important to consider an important aspect for health. Leveld and NCAR are now working with scientists in Africa to increase regulations on the mining there. Because the clean energy revolution will continue, cobalt will continue to be needed. The researchers just want it mined with the health of nearby communities top of mind. I see my task as delivering the best data we can. And uh, of course, the countries and the policymakers themselves have to decide what to do with it. Keely Chalmers, Nine News. Now, Leveld and her colleagues are also advocating to get a satellite into space over the global south that can take these kinds of measurements multiple times a day. We already have those kinds of satellites over the north, in the United States, and Europe, but right now there are no plans to launch any that would monitor the south.